All right, folks, Mr. Tesalonian back here again on the final episode of how to construct the reactor part of our truck conversion here. you notice I've got smoke rolling out of that fan there. I've loaded it with wood and let it run for about the last, uh, let's say, seven minutes or so. And I'm kind of standing on the wrong side at the moment. Let me go ahead and kind of turn myself to the other side. We're going to light this smoke here coming out of our fan and see if we've got synthetic gas, if everything works for us here. I've got some wind issues and a poor lighter, but there we go, whoa. It's a, a heck of a flame once everything works correctly. You can tell that the, uh, the wind right now is coming right into the end of this thing. Let's see if we can get it to run from this side. There we go, we had it lit for a second there. It needs to cool this smoke a lot more. So there we go, notice the smoke disappeared. We've got a nice clean burn off, and then it came back but if I can keep the lighter lit inside of it, we've got synthetic gas flare off there. There we go, right there. You can see the smoke, how it disappears. It becomes very, very thin. That's a very large flame, almost impossible to see during the daytime. So I'll do one more test of this at night to show you exactly what's taking place. You'll notice the thickness of that cloud when I'm not lighting it here. And then once again, we'll come up to it and light it and you'll notice it's not there. It's actually a, a flame rolling out of there when I do that. So right now there, the flame's actually burning and staying burnt. That's synthetic gas production at a good enough rate there, it went out. So you can tell the difference there when the, uh, the flame actually goes out between when it's not there. There's it's lit again. Alright, so our synthetic gas is producing really well. Uh, obviously there it's lit, obviously again that's a big flame. I'd like to put it out so close to the uh, fan. So we're gonna choke it off, run a pipe inside of there real quick and see if we can't do that at the end of the pipe. So here we go once again. There, there we go. We've got great synthetic gas light. There, there it is. That's our synthetic gas in ignition from our uh, reactor system we just built to put into our truck. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little test here of the reactor in action. I put a minor amount of wood in there just because I wanted to make sure I didn't have thermal meltdown. Uh, what we're going to do now is let that go ahead and run its course and the next part of this project we'll put it the radiator, the filters and everything on the bed of this little love and we'll get this whole reactor set up in there. This is going to look a little big for this truck but I like to go big because there's a lot of other things I want to use this for than just this truck. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time this is Mr. Tesalonian and the Tesalonian Man Show.